Let's discuss. Let us understand the addition and subtraction of integers with the help of the amounts of money we get and the amounts we spend. We shall show the amount we have or the amount we get as a positive number and the amount we borrow or spend as a negative number. I have 5 rupees. That is, I have the number plus 5. Mother gave me 3 rupees as a gift. That number is plus 3. Now I have 8 rupees in all. 5 plus 3 is equal to plus 5 plus plus 3 is equal to plus 8. You know how to add positive numbers. Now let us add negative numbers. Sunita, if I lend you 5 rupees to buy a pen, how will you show that? I will write the amount I have as negative 5 or minus 5. If I lend you another 3 rupees, what is your total debt? Minus 5 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 8. That means I owe 8 rupees. You have a debt of 8 rupees. Mother gave you 2 rupees to buy sweets. So you got plus 2 rupees. Now, if you repay 2 rupees of your debt, how much will you still owe? Minus minus 8 plus plus 2, which is equal to minus 6. So, I still owe 6 rupees. Anil, you have 8 rupees or plus 8. You spent 3 rupees to buy a pencil. How many rupees do you still have? Plus 8 plus minus 3 is equal to plus 5. We use the example of earning and spending to understand how to add integers. For example, plus 5 plus plus 3 is equal to plus 8. And minus 5 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 8. Minus 8 plus plus 2 is equal to minus 6. And plus 8 plus minus 3 is equal to plus 5. 